today i will tell you about how to draw bode plot on a semi log graph for this purpose i have a transfer function gshs is equal to 100 into s plus 4 upon s into s plus 0.5 into s plus 10 so first i convert into time constant form here is my time constant form it is 18 into 1 plus s upon 4 s into 1 upon 1 plus s upon 0.5 into 1 plus s upon 10 here is my corner frequency my first corner frequency is due to finite pole it is 0.5 second corner frequency is due to zero it is at 4 omega is equal to 4 and my third corner frequency is omega is equal to 10 due to finite pole because in this system i have a pole at origin so my initial slope is there which is about minus 20 db okay and in this format you have to put first s is equal to j omega after putting s is equal to j omega this is my magnitude and this is my magnitude 80 square root of 1 plus omega upon 4 whole square square root and omega square root of 1 plus omega upon 0.5 whole square whole square root square root of 1 plus omega upon 10 whole square so this is my magnitude i have to convert this into db because in bode plot i have magnitude in decibel so this is my magnitude in decibel so now the term is phase so for the constant term there is 0 degree phase and for a zero uh, there is 10 inverse omega upon 4 minus 90 due to pole at origin minus 10 inverse omega upon 0.5 due to finite pole and minus 10 inverse omega upon 10 due to this finite pole. okay so for plot of phase we, uh, we have to put omega 0.1 omega 0.5 omega 1 omega 10 omega 100 omega 1000 and omega 20 and these are the value and we have to plot these as normal normally we draw a graph but for the magnitude plot first i have to find starting point formula 20 log k minus 20 log omega for this i have to put omega is equal to 0.1 because point 1 is nearly equal to 0 so when i put omega is equal to point 1 in this formula i got 58.06 db in rough scale i have this is my 0 db this is my 20 db this is my 40 db this is my 60 db my 58 db lies over here this is my 58.06 db so i know that when there is pole and zero at origin in that case my slope always goes from omega is equal to 1 in that case i put omega is equal to 1 in this formula when i put omega is equal to 1 in this formula i got 38.06 db at here is my omega 1 in horizontal scale at here my magnitude is 38.06 db positive okay this point is over here so i have this two point one point is this 58.06 and this is 38.06 so i connect this and there is a slope of minus 20 db per decade okay now my first corner frequency is due to finite pole which is 0.5 less than 1 omega less than 1 it is over here i draw a straight line and this cut it here and this is my first value when my cut off frequency so if i have to find the value of this over this what is the magnitude so i put omega is equal to 5.5 in this formula and this gives me the exact value of this magnitude you can calculate theoretically also okay so at this point there is a pole added in my system which adds minus 20 db per decade slope in my system so for this purpose my starting point is omega is equal to 0.5 at this slope and for adding minus 20 db into this 
I multiply omega point is equal to 0.5 into 10, which gives me omega is equal to 5. Let omega is equal to 5 is over here, and I draw a straight line and this cut over this point to my previous slope. And before here at this point, I'm adding 20 dB minus 20 dB. So for minus 20 dB, I'm below this line. I'm taking these two blocks because in this scale, these two boxes added minus 20 dB scale. So over here is my point. So I connect this point and this point, it gives me minus 40 dB per decade. Okay. And my second corner frequency is at omega is equal to four. It is below omega is equal to five. Let this point is omega is equal to five. And this point is my next corner frequency. And over here, I have a zero in my system, which adds plus 20 dB per decade slope in my system. Okay. So for this purpose at omega is equal to four, my next point is omega is equal to four into 10. So it gives me omega is equal to 40 on this slope. When omega is equal to 40, I draw a straight line and it cuts over here and I add two boxes in this system. So when I add two boxes in this system, let over here is the my next point and I draw a straight line. It gives me exactly 20 dB per decade. It is nearly parallel, nearly exactly parallel to my first case. So I draw this part. Okay. And I dark this part at omega is equal to 10. I have a another corner frequency omega is equal to 10, which is given by a pole. I add 20 dB per decade in my system. So to add 20 dB per decade in my system, minus 20 dB per decade in my system. So my point is here. First point is here. My second to find out my second point, I multiply this into 10. It gives me omega is equal to 100. At omega is equal to 100, it cross here. And at this point to next, I calculate 20 dB, these two boxes. And this gives me this point and I draw straight line. And this gives me minus 20 d, uh, 40 dB per decade slope. So this is my body plot or phase plot. You have to draw normally as a graph. Thank you. Body plot. It is my horizontal axis. It is my vertical axis. Okay. Here is my magnitude plot. Here is my phase plot. In horizontal axis, there is scale. This is 0 0.1. This is 1. This is 10, 100. Here is multiplication of 10. Means decade is given in this scale. Here is log scale, log omega, okay, base 10. And here is normal scale. Like this is my 0 dB, this is my 20 dB, this is my 60, uh, 40 dB, this is my 60 dB. As this is the first starting slope because in my case my starting point is 58.06 dB. This is my first point at omega is equal to 1. This is my omega is equal to 1 and over here it is 38.6. So these two points gives me this slope. Okay. In this slope my first corner frequency is 0 0.5. It is over here. I calculate these using these vertical lines. This is one, two, three, four, five. This, this line. This line gives me omega is equal to 0 0.45. So at this point, I have to add minus 20 dB per decade in my system. So for this purpose, so for this purpose, this is my 0.5. I multiply into 10. So my future frequency is five. It is over here, it is over here. Over here, in this, I have to add minus 20 dB. This is my minus 20 dB in these five boxes or one unit. So that 
this point i have to calculate five boxes and i got this point and i connect this to this and i got this type of slope so this slope is minus 40 db per decade this slope is minus 20 db per decade so in this system i have a next second corner you can see at omega is equal to 4 which lies below this omega is equal to 5 so at this point i note down this point and i have to add because due to zero there is plus 20 db per decade slope in my system so for this purpose i increase this slope and at omega is equal to 40 because my previous frequency is omega is equal to 4 into 10 it gives me decade and uh, it gives me omega is equal to 40 at omega is equal to 40 let this is omega is equal to 40 line over here i have to add one unit one unit or five boxes which is equal to 20 db plus 20 db above in this case i have to add above in previous case i have add below this okay okay now this is my second point i draw this and this is my third slope and when at omega is equal to 10 i have a pole in my system so i note down this point in this slope and into 10 gives me future frequency this is my future frequency over this i have to add 20 db minus 20 db in my system so this gives me minus 20 db so next slope is over here and i connect this and draw this so minor my, my final magnitude plot for this type of system is like this from starting point 58.062 omega 0 0.5 then omega 0 0.5 to omega is equal to 4 uh, so first here is minus 20 db decay here is minus 40 db decay here is omega is equal to 4 when 0 is added in my system so plus 20 db it becomes minus 20 db per decade so again at omega is equal to 10 it gives me minus 20 db decade in my system so it becomes minus 40 db per decade so this is my body plot of my system so for phase plot i simply draw omega 0 at uh, phase at omega 0 0.1 omega 1 omega 4 omega 10 omega 5 so it gives me like this type of system okay this is my phase plot here is my zero degree in phase plot there is zero degree here is minus 100 degree here is minus 200 degree okay so so now i have to find gain margin and phase margin gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency for this purpose i have a plot like this i know that when my magnitude plot crosses my zero db line it gives me omega pc and i draw a straight line to my phase and this part this yellow part gives me phase margin this is my phase margin and the phase margin is below mine uh, above minus 180 and below my phase plot okay so when my phase crosses minus 180 degree at that point my omega is known as my omega gc which is gain crossover frequency i draw a straight line to my plot magnitude plot and it gives me my gain margin and in this case my gain margin is negative because it is below 0 db okay so thank you this is my gain margin and phase margin denoted by yellow part thank you Mmm.